So today we are going to see the digital design of an LCD connected to an Arduino Uno microcontroller. So the first thing is going to be changing the name of our project. So this is going to be LCD display. So we will need a microcontroller. So we are bringing our Arduino Uno. A small breadboard. A 16-2 LCD. So this one is uh, 16 characters in two rows. For controlling the brightness of this LCD, we need uh, a potentiometer. And uh, the connection between one of the voltages to the LCD, we need a resistor. So now let's take a look to the values of our potentiometer and our resistor. Uh, if we click on the potentiometer, we will see 250 kilo ohms. Pot uh, potentiometers work better with uh, 10 kilo ohms, so we change the value. And uh, for the resistor, instead of 1 kilo ohm, we change to 220 ohms. So now we are going to take a look to our voltage and our ground in the microcontroller. So we will draw a cable from 5 volts first to the red rail of our breadboard, which is the positive, and we change the cable to red. So we will identify the positive or 5 volt. Next one is going to be ground which is the cathode to the blue rail and we change the cable to blue so we can identify this, these two connections. So now the two rails are ready. Let's bring the components to the breadboard. So the LCD is going to be placed on row D of our breadboard can be in any of these uh, uh, rows. So I decided to put here to have more space for the other components. And then uh, the potentiometer next to our LCD. And we rotate. So we can have the pins facing to the microcontroller. It's going to be easier uh, to do the wiring. So now, we are going to start connecting the potentiometer. This has three pins. The first one can be connected either to 5 volt or ground. So I'm going to start with ground. So draw a cable to the blue rail. The second one is uh, the signal. So in here we need to look for a pin in our LCD which is the contrast. So what we are going to do is finding that, that pin, usually is the number three. So let's see, the third one is the uh, contrast. So we are going to draw a cable from here to the pin in the middle in our potentiometer. We change the color. And this is connected. So a third pin, if we already have a ground, so this is going to be 5 volt. So red rail. And our potentiometer is ready. Now in here, we can bend the cables. So we will have space for the other wires. So by clicking on the wire, you will see a dot. So you can, you can move this dot to shape the wire. 
So we are going to start connecting our LCD and we start from number one and this is ground. This is going to be a connection going all the way to cathode or blue rail. So we draw a cable. The second one is power. So we're going to look for our red rail. Third one was our contrast, is uh, already connected. The number four is uh, register select. This is the first connection to our digital uh, pin in our microcontroller. So we are going to look for the number 12 and draw a cable. So digital 12 and connect. We can um, bend the cable so we can see the, the connections or the pins. Like that. Now, the next one is a read and write. Read and write has to be connected to ground, so we are going to draw a cable to the blue rail. And our next connection is enable. Enable is another uh, digital pin to our microcontroller. So we are going to look for the number 11. So it's going to be in here. So we click on 11 and we change the color of our cable. So we have already the first uh, uh, six connections from the LCD to our microcontroller. Now, I'm going to start from the last pin, which is another cathode or um, negative. And the reason I'm doing this is for testing the brightness of uh, our LCD using the simulation. By connecting the cathode and anode, we will be able to see uh, light in our LCD. So let's start with this cathode and draw a cable to the blue rail the next one is our 5 volt or anode in here we add a 220 ohms resistor and from the last pin of this resistor we are adding a cable to 5 volt. So that way we have the um, three uh, connections to cathode and two to voltage. So we can check now the brightness of our LCD. So we start the simulation and this is what you are going to see. Now let's rotate the potentiometer and then you will be able to see the 16 characters and uh, the two rows. In here, the information is going to be displayed. So now we will finish with the last of four cables for um, the microcontroller to read the, and send data to the LCD. So in here, the B7 is going to be connected to the number two in our microcontroller. DB6 goes to number 3. DB5 to the next connection, which is 4. DB4, which is our last wire, goes to number 5. And basically, we have our wiring ready. These last four pins are not connected. 
So when we finish this uh, wiring, the next and last step is going to be the code. So we are going to use the section text. We will continue and we erase the code that Tinkercad is providing. So we're going to start typing hours. The first, the first one is going to be uh, the addition of the uh, library. So this one starts with an include and the name of our library for reading uh, the LCD. So this one is going to be liquid crystal. And uh, this, uh, since this uh, is a library, we need to add .h. All the libraries in C++, they have a .h. And then we name liquid crystal. Again, we are going to give a name to this variable and we can name it as LCD, followed by the pins that we use for connecting the component to the microcontroller. So we are using 12, 11, and then we connected 5, 4, 3, and 2. So those are going to be our pins. The second part of our code is uh, the void setup. In the void setup, we have uh, the LCD begin. So we are going to start our component and uh, the type of LCD we are using, in this case, the 16 character two rows. We close the void setup with a curly bracket and opening another um, section of our code, which is uh, a void loop and the last part of, of our code here. So this void loop, We'll start with the position of the cursor. So we need to tell LCD set cursor. And this is going to be 0, 0. This means that we are going to start typing on character 0, which is the edge. And this one is uh, um, the row number 1. So our information will be displayed on row number 1 to the left. Now, what type of information we are going to print? So it's going to be the sentence gearbox. In here, of course, you can add any, any sentence. Uh, and these uh, sentences, these uh, words that we are typing between the parentheses, must have at the beginning and at the end uh, uh, quotes. So this information is going to be displayed in a specific time, which is uh, 300 milliseconds. Then I want this information to be displayed to the right. So I'm typing LCD scroll display and I want my information scrolling to the right and this is the first part or the first row if I want to write on the second one so I need to start again the, uh, the process of LCD setting the cursor and in this case, I'm going to start on uh, character number one, row number two. I want to print the word laughs. Not leaving spaces to avoid, let's avoid errors here. Then I want another delay timing of 300 milliseconds and basically my code is, is done on uh, line 14 I close with a curly bracket and I can start um, testing my project by starting the simulation so 
So this is what we are going to see by the end of our um, project. Thanks for watching.